You want to know the thing that makes me the most convinced? Where that call to Johnny was made from. Remember, it was traced to a payphone by the interstate. And they were only able to do that because long-distance calls were recorded by the phone providers back then. And a call from D.C. to her parents down in South Carolina would have been long-distance. I think he knew that. And let me tell you why. Some say that he might have picked that location because it was right where you could hop on the highway to leave the district, you know, hightail it out of town. And sure, maybe that's it. But maybe it's deeper than that. Maybe it was another message. There's a place called Triple Nickel, which was 555 4th Street Northwest. That was U.S. Attorney's Office. Two blocks south of that was police headquarters. Two blocks north of that was a carryout on a corner at 4th and Massachusetts Avenue. And then like a block, block and a half north of that was what we called court parking, where back at that time, if you had a if you were an officer, there was a parking lot that you had a court parking permit. You put it in your windshield, you could park your car on this lot to go and attend court. Because next door to police headquarters was the DC Superior Court, which is where most of the trials occurred. So the phone call to the Chisholm, we don't know if it was intentionally made from that location, but it was made between court parking, US Attorney's Office, and then just below that, headquarters and court. So it was a it was a location very well known to any cop that did any work and ever had to go to the U.S. Attorney's court or headquarters. That carryout at that corner, where the payphones were, also was a place where a lot of cops would stop and get a cup of coffee. So, was this a coincidence? Was it possible the killer was one of their own? 